permutation, if you refer to the English dictionary, its meaning is arrangements. Arrangements of things or objects is nothing but a permutation. Before entering into the topic, you must know the fundamental theorem on arithmetic. What is this fundamental theorem on arithmetic? Let us see the definition. If an operation, what is an operation? The day-to-day -day works, what we take is termed as an operation. So if an operation can be performed in m different ways independently and second operation can be performed in n different ways independently then these two operations can be performed in m into n different ways one after the other or simultaneously to explain this fundamental theorem on arithmetic let us suppose we are in Hyderabad today and we want to move to Mumbai and from there we want to move to New York. So, to move from Hyderabad to New York via Mumbai, let us see the means of transport from Hyderabad to Mumbai. We have the roadway, railway, and airway. From Mumbai to New York, let us suppose there is a seaway and airway. So, a person wants to travel from Hyderabad to Mumbai and then to New York. There are three ways to go from Hyderabad to Mumbai and from Mumbai to New York, there are two ways to go. In how many ways the person can travel from Hyderabad to New York via Mumbai? Now, let us see. He started on the roadway. Then he can move to New York in two different ways. Similarly, he started on railway. Then he has two different ways to go, that is two, and he started on the airway. Again, he has to two ways to go to New York. There are two, and added together, it is two plus two plus two, which is uh, six. The six is nothing but three into two. So, an operation, first operation can be performed in three different ways independently, and the second operation can be performed in two different ways independently. And these operations, these two operations, one after the other or simultaneously can be performed in three into two different ways. That's what the definition is. If an operation can be performed in m different ways independently and second operation can be performed in n different ways independently, these two operations can be performed in m into n different ways, one after the other or simultaneously. And it can be extended to any number of operations like that. So, the fundamental theorem now can be, can be extended to any number of operations uh, like uh, if you take uh, the first operation which can be performed in m different ways uh, and the second operation can be performed in n different ways uh, and the third operation can be performed in p different ways uh, and so on, then all these operations can be performed in m into n into p into so on uh, different ways. This is called the fundamental theorem on arithmetic. Now, we will now apply this to the mathematics. Let us take one, two, three, four or the digits given to us. Now, we want to form two digit numbers from using these four digits. Now, two digit numbers, as you all know, contains two places. You know, this is ones place, uh, this is tens place. Now, I want to know how many two digit numbers that can be formed from these four digits. Now, what I do, I want to fill these blank places 
with these given deserts 1, 2, 3, 4. Now first desert, first blank place can be filled with either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. So it can be performed in 4 different ways. This second blank place can be filled with uh, the remaining three digits. Why it remi remaining three digits? Because first blank place we have filled with either one or two or three or four. So first blank place is already filled with one digit. Only three digits are remaining here. And these three digits can be filled in the second blank place in three different ways. So this is the first operation we performed that is filling up the, filling up the first blank place with any one of these four digits in four ways. And the second blank place is in, done in three different ways. And these two operations, one after the other or simultaneously, can be performed in 4 into 3 is equal to 12 different ways. Let us think practically without applying this fundamental theorem on arithmetic. Let us see what is this 12 ways. So let me write that. It's common sense. Everybody can do that. It is 1, 2 is 1 digit and again rearrange it. It is 2, 1 because permutations are nothing but the arrangement of things. So that is why I have rearranged it. Next is 1, 3, it is 3, 1. Next is 1, 4, it is 4, 1. Next is 2, 3, it is 3, 2. Next is 2, 4, it is 4, 2. Next is 3, 4, it is 4, 3. You count this, these are totally 12 different arrangements. So you can form Two digit numbers from the given digits 1, 2, 3, 4 or 12. These 12 are shown separately for your better understanding. Now, I think somebody is raising the hand. They're from one center. Yes, yes, please, please, ask the question, please. Sir, since we are doing combinations, why can't we use the same yeah. digit which was used in the tens place yeah, again in the first place, I mean in the ones place, so that we can make new combinations? Why can't we do that? Yeah, I understood. I understood. Okay. So, what the question is, here what is asking? I have taken three digits here in the second blank place. Now, his question is, he is saying that why shouldn't we take... Uh, 4 here. That's a good question. Very good question. Right. Now let us see. What the two digit numbers I have written, all these are without repetition. I have not mentioned it. Just I want to see all of you, how many of you are aware of this fact. Very good. That that uh, student asked this question and what I wrote here is all without repetition. Then I can repeat the digits also in such a case in how many ways uh, these uh, operations can be performed. And as you see, the first blank place can be filled in four different ways. There is no change in, in this one because uh, either one or two or three or four can be filled in this one. Similarly, if you take the second blank place, uh, the second blank place, uh, now when the repetition of the things is allowed can also be filled with uh, one or two or three or four in such a case uh, this operation can also be performed in four different ways then these two operations uh, one after the other or simultaneously can be performed in four into four is equal to 16 different ways that's a good question this is uh, with uh, repetition so what are the Four extra things you are getting here because you have got 16 here, you have got, you have got 12 only here. What are the four extra things here? They are 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. So in this one, the digits are repeated. Now, if you add this 4 to this 12, you are getting 16. So these are the number of permutations without repetition and these are the permutations with repetition. Now.